Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again. In today's review NECA's Pacific Rim, 18 inch Gypsy Danger. This figure isn't in the 1 4 scale, seeing that would probably be impractical for a toy, but the retail price is $99.99. Here's a nice look at the back of the packaging. Even though this 18 inch Gypsy Danger falls into NECA's 1 4 scale category, it doesn't mean it's in the 1 4 scale. And it is a completely new sculpt, and not just a larger version of the 7 inch Gypsy. They added in a ton of new fine details in both the sculpt and paintwork, making this the ultimate Pacific Rim collectible and NECA's Pacific Rim line. Now, I may have to retract that statement once the 18 inch knife head makes its way out there later this year, but this 18 inch Gypsy is definitely the best piece that's come out of their line so far. On the back of the figure, you'll notice that there's more paint application than the normal 7 inch Gypsy Danger, helping point out smaller details such as buckles, pistons, and various other doodads here and there. It's a really nice looking piece from front to back. The head sculpt was done nicely as usual, and it has more sculpted details than the 7 inch version. The visor is actually a separate clear translucent piece, and behind that is the gold honeycomb design of the viewport. There's also red and white paint applications, and a heavy black wash for dirt and grime. Printed onto the chest is pinup art, similar to what was painted onto World War II aircraft. Sculpted onto the shoulder plates is battle damage, which has silver paint to show the exposed metal, as well as the number 34, and more red and white paint applications. On Gypsy's back is large armor plates, which extend onto the shoulders to help protect the compod. At the biceps, you can see various different pipes and parts at the connections, and there's also identification numbers printed onto the armor. Right in the middle of the chest is the large turbine, which is molded in orange translucent plastic. On the sides of the chest is water vents. The hands are sculpted with a closed fist, but there is a hole allowing you to display her with accessories. Mounted on the arms is the chain swords, which are removable. They were sculpted very well, and they're painted in multiple tones of gray and silver. The tips are pointed, and the opposite sides are completely different in design. On the hips are multiple pistons, which are painted in a gold color. On the back of the waist, is exposed tubes, pipes, and panels, along with two large vents. Going down the legs, you'll notice a heavy silver dry brushing for wear and tear, more red and white paint applications, and more sculpted battle damage, with silver paint applied. Throughout the Jaeger is multiple caution strips, including these two right at the shins. There's two vents on the back of both shins, and gold rings towards the knees and cylindrical articulation joints. And the feet are flat footed with an arch in the middle. As an added bonus, NECA included LEDs in both the torso and the head, which can be activated by pressing a button on the back of the torso. Weapons and accessories include two removable chain swords. And the articulation for Gypsy Danger includes a ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders, hinged elbows, ball jointed wrists, ball jointed waist, swivel hips with a hinge joint, hinged knees, ball jointed ankles, and hinged feet support. So for about $100, NECA has once again outdid themselves with another spectacular collectible. The articulation may be still limited, but there's not much you can really do with a robotic design without making it inaccurate. Everything else, from the LEDs, paint application, massive amounts of detail, and the sheer size, makes this a must-have for any Pacific Rim fan. So anyways, that pretty much does it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Subscribe for hundreds of collectible reviews, including Halo and Star Wars and follow me on Facebook and Twitter 
for up-to-date channel news.